Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today I am going to hopefully answer this huge question that almost everyone in the zombies community has had. What is considered a high round? I'm going to break this down into three categories and then tell you guys my opinion. And just to let you know, yes, this is low round gameplay that's there for a reason. Just hold on. So, the first category is solo, and not playing solo, just by yourself, just as one person what could be considered a high round to you so let's say you're you get a 20 once you've never been above 20 and i know there's a few of you out there you might be too prideful to say it but if you want to just let us know in the comment section like this is my high round okay just let us know it's okay everyone has been there no one's got onto the game and hit a 50 first try and if they say they have they're lying or they played with someone and got carried to a 50, which doesn't count at all. But, I digress, let's get back into this. Um, solo, let's say you get a 20, what is considered a high round to you? To you personally, I would say anything 7 to 10 rounds above whatever your record is. So, like I said, if, you, if you've got a 20 once and you bust out a 27 or a 30, that is a high round to you. That is a high round gameplay to you personally. Because it's something you've never done, and it's 7 to 10 rounds above what you're used to. And that's just crazy. Anything above that is just a really high round to you. Like 20 and you get a 40, you've doubled what your normal high round was, what your highest round was. That is crazy. That is high round gameplay to you. It might not be to other people. Like I said, like if someone else has a 40, they get a 47 or 50, that's a high round to them. So that's basically the solo, 7 to 10 rounds above whatever your previous record was. Next up, and that's just because it's a low round, like, you know, if your record's a 100, and, you know, 110, 100 is already high round, you know what I mean? So it, that's just mainly for people that have lower rounds. I would say anything lower than 35, maybe. I would, yeah, about 35. Anything lower than 35, you can have solo high rounds. Alright, so next up is your friends. What your friends can do. So, let's say you get around 20, your other friend has around 30 as their highest round ever, and you have another friend that's just struggling, and it's like a 15, and you have a friend that's just a beast among all of you, and is a 45. So what would be the high round in the group? The 45, whatever the highest round is, and then you would have to go above that. You'd have to get like a 52. Uh, 55 you know what I mean just getting higher than what your friends have and that would be considered a high round to your group of friends you know maybe not to other people and because of YouTube you're watching like all these 160 gameplays 100 pluses 80s 90s all these really high rounds and you compare yourself to that when, when you can't you cannot compare yourself to anyone else that's playing on YouTube me relaxing in whoever else you guys watch because that's just not fair to yourself now the next one is going to be on a global scale and it's gonna make you feel better trust me unless you're in the lower end of this but <clears throat> it will make you feel better and this will technically bottom line draw what a high round is so the average I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the average round of everyone that's ever played zombies gets and it's between 14 and 22 that's it. That is the average round of every Zombies player ever combined as a world event. You know, everyone that's ever played Call of Duty, the average round is 14 to 22. So from this, I made a like a scale that hopefully a lot of people can relate to because you have the same scale in school and it's going to be the FDCBA scale. So C, like I said, 14, 22, but we'll start down at an F. An F is round one to round four. That is just the unacceptable limits. If that's where you're stuck out, trust me, I've been there before. We've all been there before. Maybe not that bad, but we've been there in the single digits before. Next up is a D. This is normally, this is about your average first time playing type of deal. And this is five to 13. All right, that's whenever you're gonna start seeing dogs or, you're gonna, or whatever the map holds. That's whenever it's coming in. It's getting a little bit more challenging. C, like I said, comes from 14 to round 22. All right. That's whenever you're going to start getting the boss, like on these maps. And, you know, 
you could have gotten the boss on round 12 back in the D group. And that would that's why I put you at a D. But going up to average means you can beat that boss. That you're, you're past that, but you die to something else. Next up is a B, 23 to 31. This means that you're understanding zombies. You've got it. You know what you're doing. And then we get to the A, which is a 32 to around 40. That means that you you're just you know what you're doing. You're good. You're better than the bosses. You're better than all the other low rounds. And you know exactly what you're doing. You can do it over and over again. Usually A players, their average is in the B group, but since they have like around 37 or around 40, that's what puts them in the A group and their average would be in the B. So, what is considered a high round? Anything over 41, and this is worldwide, This and the scale is my scale, I made the scale, no one else made this, so the scale could be skewered a little bit, but 41 and above would be considered to the masses a high round. So hopefully this answers your question, get above a 41, and you technically have a worldwide high round, and I know it's not like an 80 or 100 or 160, but that's different. Those goes That goes into the categories from the other two. If your friends are getting 100s, you better be getting 100s. You know what I mean? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, hopefully it answers a ton of questions for you guys. My name is Aaron. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.